Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I decided it was time for another hair tutorial. I just had my hair freshly highlighted and cut a couple days ago. So I thought I would show you just a couple of change-ups that I had my hairstylist do this time in preparation for some possible changes at the next visit. And if you stay tuned to the end, I get so many questions about what colors my stylist uses in my hair. So once it's fixed and you can actually see the color, I will explain that at the end. So let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial. All right, so I'm going to just roughly comb through my hair and I'm going to use, try to use minimal product today because I'm gonna be wearing my hair a little bit flatter. So I don't really feel like I need quite as much product. I'm going to use the Wella Root Shoot. You could also use the Catwalk Root Boost. Just don't use very much. So I am going to just put a tiny little dollop like that. And I'm going to put this right here at the crown because this is where I have a cowlick and I need a little extra help and directional help with my hair. So I'm going to put just a tiny bit more, take this through the bottom part of the hair and the sides and then one more little bit and I'm going to put this right here. I know a lot of people say I use a lot of products in my hair but I really don't use too much of each one. That is the key and each one has a distinct purpose. So next going in with the Acure Argon Oil because my hair is freshly highlighted. I did do a mask today and I'm also putting this on. I just really feel like the first couple weeks after it's been highlighted, I really need that extra moisture. So I'm gonna put this all through the hair, concentrating a good amount here at the front and then just distributing the rest around. Okay, so now it's time to blow dry my hair. I am using the Airflow Concentrator. I like to do this when I wear the sides in the back flatter. I think it just helps with the direction as I'm blow drying. So let's go ahead and get started. Now that my hair is dry, you can kind of see a couple of the areas that I had my hairstylist change up just slightly, and it will become more apparent as the hair grows out through the month. But one section 
was right here. And I know many of you have told me you struggle with that section of your hair being very flat. You have a cowlick there. And what I think we've discovered is that this section needs to be not only just slightly longer, but a little less texturized. So it had gotten too much texture and had gotten a little short. And ironically, I couldn't get it to really behave very well. So I can already tell just by having that little extra thickness and length there, it's already laying much flatter and obeying the direction that I want it to go. And then here in the front, um, even though I've just had my hair cut, you can tell my bangs are already really long. And then I did have her take it in just slightly here on the sides and then the back is much more kind of blunt, but still feathered on the edge so that it doesn't just kind of stick out at the bottom. So let's go ahead and finish hairstyling. I've got my flat iron set at 370. I'm just gonna take this through the top here. And um, as I was blow drying, you saw I was lifting these sections because I just wanted to give a little extra volume and lift there. And now I'm going to just take my flat iron and kind of do the same thing. So not really even going through all the way to the ends there. And then just right here, I'll just touch the tips, kind of pull this down. Right here, I'll add a little extra lift here. And here on the sides, I don't really feel like I need to do too much work, but I'm just gonna pull this through slightly and you can see my hair is looking nice and shiny. I have a video coming up with my favorite products, um, hair care products, especially after you've had your hair color treated. It's really important to really moisturize well, so that's coming. <laughs> All right, and here on the sides, Again, I feel like I don't need to do too much. I am gonna tuck part of this behind the ear. Um, over here on the sides, I'm just gonna bring this forward just a little bit. And yeah, just go through the crown again, just a little bit. And maybe one more section here. What I like to do is after I think I'm done with the flat iron, just kind of comb the hair in the direction, see if I'm getting the texture that I want and make sure that the hair is laying down. Um, and then if there's any sections, like kind of right here, I've got kind of a little bit of a curl going its own direction. I may take it through there and just kind of redirect that hair just slightly. And then right here at the crown, I am going to pull up this hair right in the middle of that cowlick and just pull my flat iron through. And so as it continues to grow out this month, I think that's really, that area of my hair is going to obey so much better, I hope. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going in with the Enjoy Dry Wax. And if you've watched my hair tutorials, you already know about this stuff. This is my favorite, but I do get a lot of questions about how much to use, um, how to get it softer. I've got a bunch of videos down below that I will link. Um, but because I'm doing a straighter style and I don't want too much product, um, if you can just see, I just barely have a tiny little bit and now is the key. You want to work this into your hands and depending on how warm the product is to begin with, depends on how long you need to work it between your hands. It's been over hundred degrees here for a couple weeks. So my product doesn't need a whole lot of working to get softened up. But I'm going to now just brush this through the back here and then bring some of that product through the crown. And I'm just, just um, taking my fingers back and forth like this to distribute the product towards the ends. And then I'm going to take just about the same amount of product again, maybe a little bit less. And now I'm going to use this here in the front, this whole front section. So I first start by just kind of scrubbing at the scalp and then I pull it through to the end. So kind of distribute through the hair 
and then we'll create our texture and pieciness as I continue to work the product through the hair. And then here on the sides, I don't have to do too much, um, but just going to add a little bit of fluff right here at the top. And then I am going to tuck part of this behind the ear here. And I think I'm gonna do the same on the other side. And then as I get to this back cowlick part, I'm going to take what's left on my hands with that Enjoy Dry Wax, and I am just going to press my fingers right at the scalp, rub, and then pull up. And that is going to help give you a little more hold and, and a little more volume there at that normally flat part of your hair. Okay. Now I'm pretty happy with where the hair is at currently, so I'm going to hit it now with the Aussie Instant Freeze Hairspray, and just short bursts is the key, and don't hold it too close to the hair. Do two to three, and then go through and piece the hair into place before it dries, and it does dry rather quickly. Thus the name, Instant Freeze. <laughs> Let's see, and then right here, I think I'm just gonna get a little extra hold and lift right there and through the front, because this is always the section if the wind's blowing or whatever needs a little extra help. So let me check out the back. Okay, so here's the back right now, and I just kind of used my fingers just to give a little lift, and then I'm gonna hit it with hairspray. All right, and here is our finished look. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning, I get a lot of questions about what my hair color or what colors my stylist uses. It's pretty simple for me. The dark that you're seeing is my natural hair color. And my stylist says it's about a level 5.5 ash brown, dark ash brown. And then the highlights she gives me, she uses straight bleach and she uses a very high volume. She is not afraid to go in with 30 to 40 volume and she does a ton of foils. So if you've not seen any of my salon visits, I will link those down below and you can see exactly how many foils I usually end up with. But the key is really, if you have dark hair, you really have to have a high volume bleach in order to get it this bright of blonde. So, all right, so that wraps up this tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed it and that it maybe helped give you a few tips to try with your hair, especially if you are like me and you have that dreaded cowlick at the crown of your head. Hopefully the tips I shared with you today will help you and possibly your stylist know what changes you might need to make to help that work better. Thank you as always so much for watching. Be sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on any other tutorials and I'll see you next time. Bye.